Hi, this is Suchya Datta, SST teacher, picking up very interesting chapter of class 9 history, which is history and sports, the story of cricket. Today, everybody seems to be playing cricket and everywhere, in the lanes, in the grounds and everywhere. But this was not the case few decades ago. And this was not the case about cricket as we know of that today it is a game which in fact makes friendly relations between nations and also creates a kind of unity in the country. But it has a very long history as to how it started, where it started, who got this game to India and how did the people get so much influenced by the game. The story of course is very interesting and we shall be doing about it in the following chapter. But before I start with the chapter, it seems customary to actually give you the meanings of the few difficult terms. The first is patronage. Patronage is, is in fact an agreement which is signed by a wealthy person towards a cause as a financial support. Now this patronage could be to the players, to the painters, to the filmmakers, to any other art director or any art maker. In this chapter, it shall be talking about the financial support that was being given to the cricketers. Next is subscription. Subscription is in fact a financial support again being given for the upliftment of something. It could be in form of a ticket that we buy or it could be in form of any other small fee that we pay towards it. Hierarchy. Hierarchy is in fact an organized order which is based on the rank that is from the higher to the lower. We have hierarchy everywhere whether it is in sports, in offices, in army, in navy, in air force, in police, we see hierarchy everywhere and it is very essential to maintain hierarchy. Next is molitus. Molitus is in fact the mixed descent of Europeans and the Africans. They are the result of colonialism and the migration of people from one place to another. Dominion. Dominion status was in fact the areas which actually had self-governing government within the British Raj. If I expand it further, it means that under the Britishers, we see that there were certain areas which were self-governing that is they were not directly under the control of the British Raj. Next is segregation. Segregation is in fact the separation of people on the basis of color, caste, religion and so on. That is dividing people, separating people on the basis of social hierarchies or social cutoffs that we have. 